Oh, hello, you wonderful people. I'm just chilling here by this little puddle here and waiting for both players to get started. Looks like they are actually on the way. So uh, let's um, check out who we got on the field. You can also tell up here, by the way. <laughs> but nevertheless, it is Inca Una playing as the Overcommander Vest, and he is up against Ferrick. I'm sure I could just call him Rick. Ah, uh, I'll figure it out later. Ferrick playing as the Soviet Union. And he is bringing along with him Airborne. Guard motor and defensive tactics. Inca Una, he had already locked in the uh, Grand Offensive Doctrine. Giving him access to Panzerfusiliers and of course the Tiger. But uh, looks like we won't see any Panzerfusiliers from uh, Inca Una here. At least from the very beginning. <clears throat> So, however, if we uh, continue to observe Ferrick's build order here in the beginning, we might be able to deduce if he'll be go um, airborne troop tactics or not. But no, since he has gone for two combat engineers, then I don't think he will be going airborne. Airborne tr uh, players tend to go for um, just one combat engineer, the one you start with, and then four conscripts and then uh, equip them with the uh, SVT rifles. If he goes for, um, say, four conscripts and two combat engineers early on, well, that's going to be expensive uh, muni-wise. If he wants to equip the, the combat engineer as well with some um, weaponry. Oh, we are actually seeing a Panzerfusilius coming out now. Inca Una mixing it up here. Hmm. He will, of course, also have uh, snares available to him now, but uh, yeah, he won't be needing snares by the looks of it. Nevertheless, Panzerfusiliers, quite good once they get their uh, G43 rifles and uh, get uh, some veterancy on them. Yeah, let's see. Vet 4 allows the Panzerfusiliers to take territory more quickly, and Vet 5, they can sprint. Now with free, that's where it increased the uh, squad survivability and weapon control while under fire. Grenades and flares can be used with greater frequency. Yeah, and extensive training improves grenades and flare range in addition to weapon accuracy. So just a lot of um, good veterancy bonuses there for them. Though they are still green at the moment and yeah, Ferrek is just pushing him off at the moment. Could even benefit from this green cover here, which is, um, yeah, just as this cutoff here while down south, there's no green cover that you can utilize. Well, okay, there is a bit here, a little bit of green cover there, but hmm, not really something you can use if you go out way that way, but I guess the same goes if you go out here, but um, yeah. <clears throat> Stone Pioneers getting up close there, forcing away the, well, everything uh, by the looks of it. Well, not by its own, of course, but uh, Ferrakid didn't want to stick around there for uh, too long. Seeing as he would have to retreat through the Stone Pioneers, and that would be a little bit dangerous if he, his squads were um, low on health and models. Oh. Didn't quite manage to get that uh, barbed wire down there to uh, deny the majority of the green cover there. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Inca Una, he is trying to get his own green cover down and... Yeah, okay, should be able to make it. There we go. Arrives just in time to benefit from it. But um, yeah, Ferrek now also benefiting from uh, the green cover, the natural green cover that is the well. Meanwhile, Inca is just grabbing a little bit of territory up south while um, Ferrek, he is fighting. Why? Oh, oh, that's why he wanted to go in. <laughs> I was thinking, why is he moving forward? More curiously, okay. He, um, Inca Una moved forwards himself, pushed off a couple of squads, but while he did so, he did spot that other reinforcement uh, coming in from Ferrek. And Inca Una, he has duck in here, waiting for the counter-attack. But... Ferrek, he's just like, 
yeah, okay, I'll just go over to a fuel then, if you're going to stay up there, or... No, he's gonna try something else, he's just content with taking the middle. Um... I was thinking if he really should have gone over to the fuel. Oh, there's a grenade though. That ought to heat things up a little bit. But then again, if he did that, then he would... Inkaluna would probably go over to his fuel and... And then... Fedek would have to fight those squads and that... Something he couldn't do. He would be uh, severely outgunned. But then again... Then Inkaluna would probably have to fight two con... Uh, not two conscripts, but two combat engineers with flamethrowers along with the conscript squad if these boys have gone over there, so... Mm. <clears throat> well, at least Verek, he got the middle. And he should also be in, able to win the next engagement here. I was just about to suggest Inkauna to uh, get a flag half track. Uh, because that's a lot of infantry here for Verek. It was currently just steamrolling uh, Inkauna's infantry. Oh, these boys are bunched up. Let's see. Okay. They are on the run now. He needs to turn his attention towards these boys. And with the double flamethrower there, they turn tail and run. Also, with three command points saved up, Farrakh has not locked in Diablo troops tactics, which, um, you know, gets the majority of all its uh, command abilities unlocked at uh, two command points. Oh, still a little bit of health. I like two kits. And manpower. Oh, what was... Oh, okay, it's the total amount required. I was thinking, what on earth would require 105 manpower just to reinforce a single model? Oh, that would have been expensive. Oh, wow, that's a super early T-70. Yeah, roughly uh, 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Super fast T-70. Inkauna, he... And yeah, he's still in his base reinforcing his troops. He cannot... Uh, he can't afford a um, racket warfare. He needs that to uh, protect his uh, half-track. Either that or uh, have the snares around. Plus... You know, a, um, a Panzer Shrek just for adding some um, real good punch in terms of AT, which you doesn't have to uh, pay munitions for each time you have to fire your uh, AT. <clears throat> Siskan. Very good to go. These boys here not getting reinforced, so Inca Una, he is just saving up for a. Um, Every kid and worth her. Well, um, trying to defend his his fuel, and of course this cutoff point here. Looks like Ferrek he wants to sacrifice some men in order just to get. No, he was so close to getting the decap, but no dice. That flag half track um, and its ability to suppress shouldn't be um, underestimated. Something is being built somewhere by the combat engineers. What did they build? Ah, oh, just mines, but... Oh, there it is! Panzerschreck. And almost enough manpower now to get out the... Um... Th there we go, it's coming in. Mm, but still, for the moment he has to make do with his um, one and only Panzerschreck. Did get a hit in. Let's see if... Okay, the T-70 won't stick around this time. And while the repairs are being done, it keeps its eye open for frets. We are losing supplies to the enemy. <clears throat> well, that neutral green cover is still standing, at least for now. A little bit of a action going on down south here. Oh, good angle here by the Panzer Fusiliers. <clears throat> However, he did have to dish out 60 munitions to um, get that Panzer Strike onto his um, Stern Pine here, which just delays, well, other weapon upgrades here on his um, regular infantry. 
However, that was such a good grenade. One, two, three. Six kills by the looks of it. I can't really tell if there's one dead in the hay. <laughs> Whoops. No, I can't zoom in quite enough to see if there should be a model uh, clipping underneath the hay. Oh, and we have a command pick here at Defensive Tactics, which also unlocks most of its ability as Vet 2, but he is getting out a regular um, Dishka machine gun. So, huh. He will, of course, also have access to something else, but, you know, he already has this gun, so he won't be relying on these smaller baby AG guns. I wouldn't believe that. And you know, he really must have wanted the anti-tank overwatch here because he could still be going for um, airborne troops and get the SVT rifles onto his uh, conscripts here. He's got plenty of munitions for it, though it is a little bit later than usual that we uh, would have seen the um, SVT rifles. Well, I guess... It must have been a combination between wanting the anti-tank overwatch and being um, satisfied with them mobilizing the reserve later on in the game. Just a Rick Hedden over there trying to figure out where it should plant itself. Oh! Mine. Only one kill though, so not the most value there for Freak. Just continuing to look at the uh, weapons here. Munition has been spent. Ah, okay, there we go. G43 Gewehr being issued to the Panzer Fischerlier squad, giving them a weapon upgrade, including um, an extra man. <clears throat> I wonder if uh, Ferrek he will um, continue the success of getting out his uh, light, well not light tanks, but his vehicles out in an early manner. <clears throat> he does have enough uh, resources to get down the tech structure, and Ikeuna having called in his truck here, I guess it's just going to be a matter of seconds before we'll see the Svera Panzer headquarters. <clears throat> Well, Rakettenworth will still find something to do while there's no tank within its firing arc. Got rid of that green cover up there. But um, all that practice versus neutral cover left it, um, you know, aiming very poorly as it is now continuing to target neutral cover rather than actually getting a hit in on the T-70. But there we go, third time's the charm. Well, conscripts, back in base, we got resources to spare. It should only be a matter of time before the uh, mechanized... Yeah, mechanized armor company are going down. And there it is. Right on time. And Inkauna also got his Svaterpanzer headquarters down. <clears throat> Not entirely covering uh, the cutoff point here. I think he could easily have afforded to move it a little bit uh, to the other side, so it would completely cover it. It's not like it's in danger of getting uh, destroyed here by a 120 millimeter mortar. <clears throat> well, looks like it's just a little bit of quiet time here. I mean, the vaults are getting shot at, but that's the most action we see. <laughs> okay. No, no, you have to stay there. I'm calling in smoke. Stay there and draw fire. Okay, you've been shot at enough. Smoke's here. Go. Make your push. The T-70. Caught there in the, the firing arc of the Rakettenwerfer, which apparently missed, but hit the fence. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure what it hit. Oh, but 
This infantry down here doing damage for Kittenworth is slowly but surely pulling out, not retreating. He wants that Kittenworth on the field so the C7C won't dive his half track. And with the half track's help here, lots of suppression coming in on the combat engineers who are now turning tail. There is a uh, Siskon out here, but there's no support for it. And Farrakh here, yeah, he's routed, but falling back. And there it is, the T-34 on the field here. Should be able to uh, dance around the Raket and Werfer here. Yeah, retreat has been called. Inkauna also not having enough munitions at the moment here for two uh, Panzerfaust to uh, get the engine damage in. So he is just opting for, uh, for smoke and then getting out of there. Also, he's ready here with some smoke. Should he be... Um, should he find it to be useful? Of course. Uh, loses both of them here rather quickly. I think he could have uh, saved his uh, flag half track by smoking, but then again, potentially also blocking a um, side for the Raketenwerfer. At least he had the Panzer Strike there to help out. So yeah. And of course, flag emplacements doing a little bit of damage. And yeah, okay. Lost vision here. Should be able to fire. There we go. One shot and suppressed and the guy died. Got shot in the back there <clears throat> by flag attack. Nasty business. Just re-establishing his uh, supply lines. I think I'm gonna doing the same here. Well, the Panzer IV is on its way now. Needs to get that uh, raket and with a recruit. So we won't get completely overrun by uh, Ferg. And Inkuna, he's just um, trying to play defensively here at the moment. He needs to um, hold out until he can get his um, AT up and going again. See, by trying to go out there, he'll just be faced with superior armor. A T-70 and a T-34 here, ready to take on his infantry, and they have very little in response. Hmm. Using that secure mode there. Now, Inca Una, having the northern spawn, will have to um, try to defend the southern area down here with his Rakenwerfer while dealing with, you know, side blockers, shot blockers, and whatnot. But there it is. The Panzer IV has finally arrived. And with that, he has some more mobile AT that, that should be able to stand up to the uh, T-34. <clears throat> yeah, T-70 there. Bailing. Still manages to get a snare off and... Oh, by the good mind laid there by Ferrik. There's no way that that was just a regular mine. And took it down to half health. And even with a penetrating shot from the T-70. What was that we just saw? And the shoe mine won't even do enough of that. Did it get hit by a... Ah! Completely missed the Siskon. That, uh, that explains things. <laughs> Well, Ferrik increases his uh, armament. He's up to two medium tanks and a light tank. Hmm. Let's uh, have a look here at the map at the moment. It is going in uh, Ferrik's favor. Having the majority of the map, including the VPs, currently in Kahuna being double capped. A much uh, needed win for uh, Ferrik as he is down to half of his victory points. <laughs> exactly half to be exact. Grenade? No. No munitions. Uh, aha. We have Sturm. 
been given out to the Volk's Grenadiers, so that may just have been where his munis went. Just getting the repairs done here. Could also go for the sweeper now, just to make the repair speed a little uh, faster. And the reserve have indeed been called upon. It's not much left of the green cover here, just half a sandbag, really. Or maybe it's Fleur. Not sure. It is, of course, called Mill Road. <laughs> what was that? What was that for? Kind of thing that exploded there. Huh. I will probably uh, never know unless I recheck the replay. <clears throat> Second Raketen Werfer on its way for Inkona here as he um, will bring it in to help him out versus Ferric's superior forces until Inkona, of course, he himself can get out another Panzer IV. But there's still a couple of minutes of way to go there in terms of the getting enough fuel in for him. Meanwhile, Ferric, he's got enough for uh, the anti tank overwatch. And um, the thing is, if you can uh, keep, say, a King Tiger within the anti-tank overwatch ability while maintaining vision on it, the King Tiger will go down. Unless you have 20 Kubelwagens also in the uh, anti-tank overwatch ability, in which case the damage is spread. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now, Katusha. Oh, oh, this could be good. Let's see if he can get the T-34. No, he might actually lose this. One more shot from this. No, not coming in. And this Panzer IV here spots the combat engineers like, um, guys, there could be mines down here. Minesweeper, not here. Not being issued anyway. That's the thing about, uh... Over Commander Vest. They only usually go for one Stern Pioneer. <clears throat> Seeing that also uh, the Stern Pioneer is quite expensive. How much pop cap do they even take? Yeah, seven. Same as the uh, Volksgrenadier squad. Right. Boom. And Panzer Commander just popping up there. To uh, improve the aim of the turret. Look, they're all lined up. Target practice. <laughs> Good shot in the middle. Got three men there. While well, the fourth one, yeah, he died of other causes. Probably small arms fire. And again, Company of Heroes 2 Sandbags Edition. <laughs> no more. Singauna, he says, nope, I won't let you. Oh, ow, ow, ouch. Katusha. Not really having the most of luck there. Did it get a single kill or two? Uh, okay, two. Was a good effort, though, but... Um, or rather, a good choice to barrage. There were lots of infantry and team weapons there. But Inkauna, he... Um, reacted accordingly and uh, saved the many lives. I assume. <laughs> now, these guys are clumped up around that little green cover that's remaining there. But decides to leave after getting a nasty shot from uh, the Panzer IV there. They decide to move back a little further so they won't be clumped up behind the, that little green cover, which wouldn't necessarily have protected them against the direct hit from uh, the Panzer IV. In which cases might even have, uh, what's it called, the crew, the, the Dishka. Well, that's it. Sis guns for the people. And a little bit of smoke recon coming in here. Inka Una taking a look at what the um, Ferex got waiting for him. There we go, blitzing in. He Oh, he might be able to take this. Yes, one more shot. Nice. Takes out the, um, the T-70, but this is a waste here of the anti-tank overwatch. 
because I think Aune, he is he can just drive out um, easily he's not caught in there so um, I think it was just a defensive uh, measurement there from um, Inca Una but Inca Una who had ample opportunities to stay outside of the circle of influence kept on cruising within the circle so yeah I'll, I'll have to eat my words there <laughs> It wasn't a waste, <clears throat> but I'd say it was more of a um, blunder from Inca Una. <sighs> Caddy firing. Ooh, even in the base there. Yeah, look at all those kills. They were bunch in there. Went from two to seven. No, uh, went from two to nine, getting seven kills. And with Siskon backing up the T-34, there's no way the Panzer IV is... dares to dive in. Well, a little bit of smoke covers the Dishka. Ooh. Two Siskons ready for getting picked. And they are indeed retreating. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Freak here doing a little bit of a um, panic retreat with most of his infantry, if not most of his forces. Single T-34 here getting caught out. The Siskons are soft retreating, but I don't think Inca will be diving here as his Panzer IV is not really in top shape. And these Siskons have enough distance between them and the Panzer IV to have enough time to set up and uh, start firing at the P-4 should it go in for a dive. <clears throat> Well, at least Inkahuna manages to get the T-70. <clears throat> but lost the Panzer IV in return here. And just like that, Inkahuna, he is making a sweep across the map here. Grabbing territory and um, moves the front line a little bit closer to uh, Firix. Uh, base of operations Panzer 4 supporting the troops there once again another good shot from them the Dishka here ooh looks like he, yeah he caught the uh, Volksgrenadiers can they heal no they need that 5 to heal a little bit shame there for Inkauna <clears throat> they'll just have to fight harder Oh, this come trying to move in here, gaining a uh, better angle on the Volks, which should allow Ferrick to grab. Yeah, he should be able to grab this territory now. Inca turning tail, running back, even loses a model to the fire. Uh, meanwhile, Raketenwerfers, they are on a little bit of a scouting mission here, providing vision for Inca Una's Panzer IV, which uh, has no luck hitting... Uh, the conscripts is he really attack rounding or is he giving the attack order to attack the squad themselves hmm. let's uh once again check in on the victory points they're more or less equalized now ferrick having a slim lead <clears throat> oh this is bad could lose this Volksgrenadiers, his Raketenwerfer. Oh, going down, both of them! Good timing there for a Ferrick. With 290 manpower each here going down. Ay, 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 that's almost 600 manpower that he could lose here. 580 to be exact. Needs to grab this! No, and I think he had queued up a retreat order there, so they are running away. <clears throat> well, that was a um, good push here from Ferk. Got rid of uh, both anti tank guns, thanks to uh, the Katusha and having his T 34s being able to act uh, 
so soon. Hmm. At least Inkuna didn't lose that uh, Volksgrenadier squad that was uh, briefly stopping up to fire his uh, Panzerfaust. And now Inkuna, once again, getting another P4. However, Ferrik here. He's popcap, but otherwise you should be able to get whatever he want. <laughs> <clears throat> but then again, he has called in double dish cast. That's going to be annoying for Inkauna to uh, fight against. Oh, sprint. Getting out of harm's way. Yeah, he won't be able to catch uh, the dish here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. He gets around the firing art, but loses his... Uh, Most grenadier. I can see the future. There we go. Not worth it. <sighs> A another uh, poor play by Inkuna. And at this rate here, he is on the fast track to losing the game. <laughs> oh, n oh my. Did he wipe out? Yes, he did. He did. There is a Panzer Fusilius dead right down there oh my god good shotgun blast from the katusha however i'll give it that and now in kauna he is left with an almost impossible task here defeating ferrick whose uh, army composition is um yeah near popcap probably uh, will be even closer once these reinforcements are called in 18 manpower only and and our tank overwatch here forcing away the panzer force from the cutoff point here needs to get out there oh but uh <clears throat> some aggressive movement for ferrick i think he would have been able to get This Panzer IV here, if he had rammed it, thus stopping it from exiting the, um, the circle in time. <clears throat> But, uh, you know, Fedek here, he's got plenty of uh, resources to play around with. Panzer IV here, <laughs> once again, driving inside of the circle, but this time Inkauna paid attention to it and... Uh, Panzer Ford didn't go down this time around. Panzer Ford repaired and these boys are heading out to get the, the last of the P4s repair. Inkauna, he almost have enough fuel for a, a third Panzer Ford and I believe that will be his, uh, his poison. Ooh, Volksgrenadier makes it out alive, barely. As he was also getting shot at by uh, the conscripts here. Going in. Going in for the kill. Though the one P4 are not fully repaired. Where the Siskons? They are down here guarding the area. Two shots needed. There we go. One shot misses, but the two others connect. And is he going into bully? He is going to town. That's where he's going. Oh, the prize! The caddy and one Siskon caught out here in the open without any support another siskon is coming in to help out uh might actually be able to disengage safely here <laughs> cannot hit for his life though and he's going to decide it's not worth it getting in the d crew and i agree with that sentiment he already well that was uh, that was the comeback play From Inkauna, his, his chances of coming back has suddenly increased tenfold. Also, as an added bonus, he managed to take down the Katusha, which was uh, left at the base entrance. <clears throat> yeah, the Katusha is just such a, a squishy unit. Let's leave it at that. Pioneers. Getting reinforced. They have some repairs to do. Still left for Inkauna to get um, 
another Panzer IV out. I don't think it's actually worth for him to go to, for Tiger. Yeah, okay, he's going for the Panzer IV. <clears throat> we are losing territory. Ooh. Incauna. Stolen hardware. Let's see here the dish cat. Not suppressing the green cover must be uh, having an effect here on its ability. Oh, 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 oh. That was a regular uh, explosive grenade. That made them run away. Now, let's see. T 34 engaged by one of the Panzer IVs. But there'll be plenty more of those in just a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we go. Brand spanking new P4 ready to serve Germany. Meanwhile, the motherland has um, yet to decide on what uh, should be produced next. Well, there goes a little bit of manpower. <clears throat> With two cis guns and two T-34s. Would it be worth for him to go for an SU-85? Wouldn't be too bad to get that uh, focus division to help out. Plus, with two T-34s guarding the SU-85 along with the double cis guns to support it, I think it would be a worthwhile investment. Even better than going for a Katusha, it's not like Inkauna has that many teams' weapons. Oh, this is dangerous. Face palm. That was a face palm moment. Hey, hey, hey. Don't know if Inkauna is playing half asleep here. Or maybe he's just been playing all day and getting a little bit tired. That was a. Um a little bit of sloppy gameplay and what's he doing here main gun destroyed no inca why why would you do that why did you even do that question not even science can answer oh my god and loses the raquette werfer what was that Oh, Winka, you played so well to get back into this game, and now threw it on the ground. Yeesh. Uh, and yeah, I feel like we're back to almost square one with Inca Una, and uh, yeah, he needs fuel in order to get out his. Uh, tanks he has bled his reserves down and not completely dry but there's not much uh, left uh, in the tank while ferrick he's just swimming in them now he should just go for another t-34 and just swarm the the lonely p4 and the raketenwurf out there grenade grenade and retreat at all scared or not these guys here are um made of stone the heat barely tickles them okay there we go running back yeah new g34 coming in uh inca una however down to 60 points is currently still holding the majority of the vps but for how long can he do that the panzer 4 here is about to get uh forced off by the double cis guns oh <sighs> even though there is smoke here it's not worth the risk losing your p4 All right, new T-34. Or is it? Nope, <laughs> it got veterancy. Yeah, the new one is still on its way. Yeah, we're just uh, waiting for it to come off the assembly line. And runaways and repairs needs to be done rather quickly. Something that Inca should also be doing is salvage these wrecks here. I don't know if he salvaged the uh, flag half track or it just got crushed but the other t-34 that's in base there 
That should be uh, salvaged along with this P4 wreck. That ought to net him a little bit of fuel, which he needs. <laughs> it's the difference between getting out the P4 now or a minute later. Hmm, he does not have that much spare infantry, though, to uh, get the salvage in. Oh, this P4 here. Yeah, Ferrick, he's out for blood. And another bounce. He can't snare the engine. Now he could, but Ikuna didn't even have enough munitions for a snare there. Unless this AT grenade was... Okay, it is 25, so he didn't have it at the time when the, the Panzerfischerliers were crossing a path with the T-34. Oh, no. If only the Sturmpires had gotten a one-shot off, then it would have also died. But okay. T-34 shows its rear. The Panzer IV pokes out its uh, turret, despite being at low health. So daring play, but it paid off. <clears throat> P4 on its way now. Inca finally got enough fuel. It's about to come down to the wire. 119 VPs for free. can counting down. Yeah, he doesn't have anyone capturing the middle right now. Might even be worth getting the uh, Siskon in there, even if it has to get up a little close. Surely the Dishka would soon run away, wouldn't it? No, guess not. The T-34, however, is now having to back away. And, oh no, he didn't fully reinforce. Salvage? No salvage. Wop, wop, wop. It's not like the four Volks can do anything about the forces holding the south area. Okay, this guy here doing work, stopping the sandbags from coming down. And oh, yes, one model, two models, and it just continues to go in. Sh there should be some pinned action hitting pretty soon. I mean, they're only light cover. <clears throat> well, there it is. The Katusha. The reason why uh, I guess Ferrick is keeping his forces there besides capping is because so he can target it with his uh, Katusha. Up north. Oh, the Panzer IV here. We just saw it go down. New P4. Oh, that shotgun blast almost destroys. It actually did destroy the brand spanking new Volkswagen. A miss. Two T-34s here. Anti-tank overwatch not available. Which meant he could have rammed and... Uh, kept it there in order to ensure its destruction engine damage yeah the AG grenade just reaching it I think this is the end for Inca Una as he is double capped going down to 26 uh, okay he is holding about to hold the middle uh, one of his T-34s badly damaged another one engine damage Inca Una's other tank also engine damaged and in need of repairs but here comes the Ura smoke should be able to provide a little bit of cover for the dish cap but few precious seconds indeed well at least he stopped the bleeding he's on 18 points and there it is grenade thrown dish cap still lurking about help us on the way now he should probably just retreat it now or otherwise he risk losing it there we go and the Sturmgewehrs attacking in. But, oh, the Dishkader didn't notice that one. Yeah. And more smoke even coming in. But uh, I don't think uh, he'll be able to win this engagement. Well, okay. Help us on the way. Sturmpios might be able to do something about the the capping and the conscripts. Meanwhile, Panzerfusilius scares off the Dishka. Okay. Inkauna still holding. Oh, hit some iron though. It's very he's almost down to 100 VPs, but again, the fuel situation from Inkauna is poor. He does not have enough to get out of his uh, Panzer Force with. Uh, he did kind of lose a lot of uh, during a um, a push here and. In this uh, area 
didn't go so well for him. Right. Panzer Fusiliers, your brand spanking new. I have been giving you G43 rifles. So, um. But yeah. A four man going in there. This looks like another wipe. Yeah, there it is. And engine damage once again on the P4. Raketenwerfer for trying to help out here versus uh, the T-34. Panzer Rick might be able to get a shot in. Yeah, but I, I think a bounce. Yes, that's what he needs to win this engagement up here. But he is losing the match. Yeah, seven points remain. And these boys here can't do a thing about the T-34. This game is over. Ferrick, he takes the win as Inca Una surrenders. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Mm, like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And um, I will see you next time. Cheers.